There's passive and active cell transport. See, passive transport is the one that demands no energy. But with active transport, you need some vesicles or pumps. Energy's used when stuff across the membrane jumps. No passive transport includes simple diffusion. Osmosis facilitated diffusion. Stuff always goes from high to low concentration. Concentration gradients means very distribution. Simple diffusion stuff just goes right through. While with facilitated diffusion, there is a cue for transport proteins which bridge the membrane and let's recall. This type of transport needs no energy at all. Lastly, there's osmosis, a type of diffusion where water pursues a lower concentration passing through a semi-permeable membrane which means only some things can cross into its domain Active transport pumps cause primary and secondary transport It's important to understand While primary transport uses ATP directly For the second built concentration gradients are key Vesicle transport includes exocytosis as well as three types of endocytosis. Phagocytosis is like cellular eating, while pinocytosis is like cellular drinking. Lastly, there's receptor-mediated. Clathrin-coated vesicles from plasma membrane are formed. Only receptor-specific substances can come through. A mature pit is cleaved, and it's inside now few.